Hello, welcome to lesson 25, exercise one, mastering Java. Here is our uh, program that we want to create. We're going to create a variable named age. We'll assign a value of 30 to it, and then we'll have to create the code to do the following. If the age lies between 25 and, it should be 35, then we're going to output the following text, which just says that our age is between 25 and 35. If the age lies between 45 and 55, we'll output a similar string. Uh, and then we'll change the age around, in this case going to 50 and other numbers, and rerun the program. So basically it's going to be some if statements and we're going to have some logical parts to it as well in order to, to check in these ranges here. So here is our code and so we have uh, an age variable that we create. And then for the first part, we're trying to check to see if the age is between 25 and 35. So if you just look at this, this would test if the age is greater than 25, greater than or equal to 25. If you just look at this, this would test to see if the age is less than or equal to 35. We wrapped them both in parentheses and put the double ampersand there. And that tells us that this if will be triggered if the age, age is greater than or equal to 25 and if the age is less than or equal to 35. So only if both of these things are true, in other words, if it's between this range, will the if trigger, and then in this case it prints out that statement. And then the next one is exactly the same thing, except if the age is greater than or equal to 45 and the age is less than or equal to 55. So the double ampersand is used to test when you have more than one logical condition, wrap it in parentheses, and then you can in this case uh, verify that we're between a range, then we'll print out the ages between 45 and 55. So in this case, our initial age is 30. So let's save and run. Your age is between 25 and 35. Now if we change this to, let's say 50, to be within the second range and save and run it, your age is between 45 and 55, which means the second if is triggered. So this is just a simple little example showing you how to understand these logical ands uh, anding and oring are very, very important, and eventually you're going to get to a program that's going to have more complicated branching, more complicated condition checking, and using ands and ors are going to be very helpful in those cases.